So let's start. And uh, coming to Chitra. So repeating it again. Then hell number 15 is Puyodakam. Puyodakam don't have a good meaning though. This Puyodakam is signified by Chitra Nakshatra. So Brahmin, that is scholarly caste, right? Not birth by birth Brahmin, normal scholarly people. If they have intercourse with women of lower caste, or even men with lower caste, if it is female child, going against the rule of custom ordinance, and those vagabonds who wander about irresponsibly like animals and birds and other such people who commit these sins are sent into this hell by the name of Puyodakam. So basically it is told that uh, you know like if you are a Brahmin or a scholarly person or someone else in power many people are supposed to get attracted to you generally and because you are in power you can also misuse them. So that's why it is told like People of lower caste, etc. Lower caste, that doesn't mean the real caste. Like people who are lower in standards than you. If you misuse your power and authority to do any kind of uh, mischief with them, you know, like having a, a physical relationship, etc. Or even those people like, you know, vagabonds who are, who can freely travel here and there. If they go and invade other people's privacy, or, you know, if they go to a new area, start meeting people, etc., etc., technically misusing their power, they are sent to this particular hell. Now, because this is related to Chitra Nakshatra, once again, if you have good planets in Chitra Nakshatra, exalted planets, uh, Murutrikon planets, Sorashi planet, Varkottam planet, benefic planets, etc., then you don't have these negative qualities in your nature. This means you are a very responsible person who will not misuse their power and authority. One, if you have malefic planets in these nakshatras, uh, debilitated planet, compassed planet, right, and all the other nakshatra afflictions that we have learned in the previous classes, in that scenario, you are susceptible to committing such crimes to try to save yourself from these. Okay. Now, the punishment is the same that this is a well which is filled with uh, excreta, urine, blood, phlegm, etc. People are thrown into this hell and they suffer right? because they are thrown into this hell. So the punishment of the Narak gives us a hint about the disease which one is supposed to have. Right. So this is related to Chitra Nakshatra and when Chitra is afflicted, the person have problems related to excretion problems in urinating, problem in blood, and problem related to phlegm. Right? So these problems are there if Chitra is afflicted in the natal chart and the Prashna chart, whatever. Right? So basically the uh, punishment of that Narak tells you what the diseases you are going to have. The next Narak, Narak number 16 is Pranarodham that is connected to the Nakshatra Swati. Those scholarly class people, those learned people who keep dog ashes and other mean animals and constantly hurt and kill them for food go into this. So basically keeping a dog, see, according to Indian thought, it is a sin. But also in like it is not only about Indian thoughts, there can be people of another religion also. So it is not about keeping a dog. It is about keeping an animal only for the purpose of using it. Whereas on the other hand, not feeding that animal properly, right? like you know, misusing the powers and capabilities of an animal, not keeping proper care of that animal, leads to this problem. right? So when malefics is in Swati, this generally happens in you know, a malefics in Swati, one will, uh, without any reason, will try to beat dogs, beat cows. And you have seen many people around this in your life, afflicted Swati. When people have good Swati, they join Peta. <laughs> this animal preservation kind of a thing, they are very, you know, like uh, they have a very soft corner in their heart related to, you know, animal cruelty, etc. This is indicated by Swati Nakshatra, right? And 
I think this is the course where we have covered nakshatra. We will cover nakshatra four times, and this we are covering nakshatra the fifth time, right? And I will tell you by the end of the course, it should be somewhere around hundred hours of content. So uh, five ten years all completed once you do the course, and I keep on looking at it again and again. Okay. So this is the thing, and the punishment is that the body parts, the person. Uh, who commits this sin go to pran rodham hell and their body is cut into pieces using arrow and these people are constantly insulted so an afflicted swati creates problem related to insult and cutting of body part into pieces results to constant pain in body parts so constant pain in uh, hands legs and other body parts and constant insult in life is a result of disease that is produced by swati there are two types of disease first of all i have also told it earlier repeating it so if you haven't forgot it in the 10 minutes break because you are very busy in keeping notes also the thing is there are two types of disease one disease is that you are suffering from because of a sin that you have committed in the previous life so if swati is afflicted you are going to suffer from bodily pain and insult and you are suffering because of a past life sin that you have committed and the sin is insulting misusing torturing the animals such uh, diseases are very difficult to cure very difficult to remedy because it comes from the past life deeds and in such diseases more than uh, doctors astrological and spiritual remedies work will they work or not is also not a guarantee because it is a past life sin that you have committed if the person have another disease which is not indicated by nakshatra but indicated by the planetary combinations nakshatra related disease happen at any point of time and go for infinite period of time generally once person get affected by these diseases and remain affected for a lifetime other combinations which leads to disease are diseases which comes in dasha and dardasha can be easily medicated because they are not arising out of past life karmas right this is pretty clear no confusion about this part good the next is vishashanam related to vishakha nakshatra if one does a, a spiritual or religious thing by hurting other people other animals or if one engages in any spiritual activity such as donation etc for the sake of so of to show their influence wealth and splendor etc any religious duty done for the purpose of so of or done uh, through hurting others insulting others etc creates this uh, leads one to the hell named vishashana right and because it is related to vishakha nakshatra once again if there are good planets in vishakha nakshatra if vishakha is good then you don't do anything for show off and if there are malefic planets in vishakha nakshatra these people generally do things for show off etc etc and the thing is these people are constant people who go to vishashana or rather souls who go to vishashana hell are constantly flogged with flog with yamad servant right so constant flogging is the disease that is produced by vishakha now constant flogging is you know like uh, there are few things which don't belong to you but you are subjected to do that you know it is like uncalled of responsibility which you cannot ward off you know those things which you have to go for sure and you cannot escape like responsibility of a person coming over your head because of a situation which is unavoidable right so this problem is indicated by the word flogging with yamaat servant next is lal baksham this is related to anuradha nakshatra it indicates uh, uh, <laughs> this is a sin which is incurred by those lustful people who make their spouse solo their bodily fluids such as semen so basically indicating an unnatural 
conjugal desires and performance of unnatural conjugal activities this is indicated by anuradha action and the punishment is also the same the soul who commits this is thrown into a sea of bodily fluids and they are forced to drink and eat etc right so the problem coming from anuradha nakshatra is sexual issues specifically because it is a problem related to semen it also translates into the lack of producing a progeny etc etc the next hell uh, that is uh, sarmeyashanam that is connected to jeshtha those who do unsocial act such as uh, poisoning people mass slaughter ruining the country etc go to this hell so jeshta indicate mass murder mass slaughtering poisoning etc right and what is the punishment for this hell yeah what is the punishment uh, for this hell right and just a second yeah As, uh, what is the punishment for this hell the punishment for this hell is only the dog flesh is available for food there are around 700 dogs in this hell and they are wild dogs so they look like uh, leopards and they attack these sinners who commit this sins right uh, now what does it basically indicate the attack by an animal in the matters of disease generally indicate Uh, diseases which come through animal attacks such as malaria and also indicate constant body pain see what will happen if a leopard bites you in your hand they will do three things either they will take your hand leads to amputation right or if they don't take your hand at least you will have pain because you know the force of the bite of the animal is much right so bodily pain amputation and things such as malaria etc is indicated i will want to give you an example right here if you allow me to do so this is related to the horoscope of ted bundy he is a great criminal right so the time i read mass slaughter of such people ted bundy ad camper i forgot the name of the third person i have his horoscope also this is jeffrey jeffrey dahmer so if you see the horoscope of ted bundy i am talking of we are talking of sarmayashana we are specifically talking of jeshta nakshatra right i told you this is related to jeshta nakshatra if you look at the horoscope ketu moon and mars are situated in jeshta nakshatra now these planets are malefic planets mars is a weak planet weak planets are malefic planet right mars is also by nature malefic and we have already learned that any nakshatra that is uh, having a malefic into that that nakshatra turns into malefic so mars is a malefic planet it is also weak by losing its directional strength visible heat it goes to jeshta nakshatra afflicts the jeshta nakshatra jeshta is further afflicted by the placement of ketu into it right ketu is another a malefic and there is a moon in jeshta nakshatra also and this moon is also malefic because it is conjoined with sun right moon is only benefit when it is three houses away from sun either side right so it is a, a moon with sun malefic mars malefic ketu malefic three malefic planets afflict jeshta nakshatra making jeshta afflicted giving the result related to sarmiyashanam uh, nakshatra which leads to mass slaughter mass food poisoning ruining the ruining the fate of the country etc right is this example very clear very clear na it should be very very clear okay so indicated that there if you know of other people who have done this you know ruining of the country such as osama bin laden etc you can also check it in their horoscopes uh if i have to just a sec mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. And so you can check other horoscopes as well. And don't forget to check Upagrahas and Aprakash Grahas, right? If you don't see a normal planet, remember that. And the span of Nakshatra, the third point. So don't forget. Okay. This is Saramayashanam related to Jeshtha Nakshatra. The next hell is Avichi that is connected to Mula Nakshatra. People who give false witness, false swearing, or people who assume false names to cheat government or people, basically cheating government and cheating other people by having a false appearance, false name, or a false witness is indicated by Mula Nakshatra, right? So when Mula is afflicted, these problems come. Like, like for an example, uh, uh, like if someone have a good planet in Mula, like I have a Mula Trikon Jupiter in Mula Nakshatra. So I specifically hate faking things. You know, I don't fake like, Anything I will not say generally. Right. So when it is good, you hate it, you don't do it. When it is bad, you do it. Right. So both good and the negative qualities are there in the nakshatra. Right. Nakshatra is like a rashi or, or, or like a house. Right. So good and bad qualities are there. Which one is activated that you have to decide. And that's why you are learning this longer course. Okay. Right. So this happens in Mula Nakshatra. And what happens? The sinners are thrown in Avichi from a mountain, 100 yojan in height. The reason of Avichi is always shaken like an ocean without with turbulent waves. As soon as the sinners fall into it, they are utterly smashed into dirt. So basically, it is throwing of the person from a hilltop is the punishment. If I should tell you something. In Germany astrology also, Sagittarius Rashi, Mula falls in Sagittarius. Sagittarius Rashi indicates fall from height. Death due to fall from height. So it is generally getting uh, hit by a vehicle, committing suicide. Like, you know, if in some building there is a fire, fire breaks out on the 20th floor of a building. So, sorry, fire breaks out on the 15th floor of the building. You are on the 20th floor. It will be a fall from height. And hit by a vehicle, hit by an animal is fall from height. Committing suicide is fall from height. These things are indicated by Sagittarius Rashi in Germany astrology also. And the connection of Avicii hell to Mula Nakshatra once again reinforces this point. When you learn traditional astrology, the authentic method, see who is teaching you, Shubha Mahal. So things are not going to be contradictory, it is pretty simple, right? So this is the point. And so the disease that it indicates fall from height is basically you go to the top of your profession, do a mistake or don't do a mistake, get falsely accused and have to lose that thing. Point one. Another thing is if you fall from a height, what will happen? Your bones will break. There will be internal bleeding. So problem related to weakness of bones, lack of calcium, iron, internal bleeding. These issues are created by Mula Nakshatra. Right? So if you want to know what a problem this will create, just imagine if this happens, what will happen, right? And also it indicates like if one, uh, you know, have their eighth lord in Mula Nakshatra, one can meet such kind of situation before their death also. The situation will be troublesome, problematic, or easy. That depends on how afflicted the Nakshatra is. Suppose eighth lord goes to Mula Nakshatra and this eighth lord is Sagittarius, this eighth lord is sun. So sun is basically in a friendly sign. So maybe the person falls from one to stairs and then gets hospitalized because of that and then dies. So it is a very normal problem. Now, on the other hand, suppose it is uh, eighth Lord is Saturn conjoined with Mars in the Mula Nakshatra. Then an actual hitting by a vehicle or actual getting hit by an animal will happen for reality. All right. So understand according to the basic principles of astrology. Don't forget. The next Hell, hell number 21, Ayaha Pan is connected to Purvashana Nakshatra. Those people who indulge in drinking alcohol are sent into this. So basically, Purvashana Nakshatra indicates alcoholism. Okay. Now there is one point. Drinking alcohol is bad? No, no. I should not say that. Okay, there are many people who may like to drink it, though it is bad only. Thank you. Truth is, it is bad. But okay. 
So to keep it for everyone's nature, see, drinking alcohol is not bad. Drinking too much of it is extremely bad. Specifically, when you start misbehaving, creating, doing crimes, etc., because of drinking alcohol, this is a problem, right? So problems arising out of alcoholism is a trait of Kurvashana Nakshatra, and when there are good planets in Kurvashana, these are people who are extremely against alcohol or any other type of intoxication. When there are malefics there, intoxication happens. And if you have a malefic in Purvashana and you want to remedy it, stop taking alcohol. All right? These three things. And what is the uh, punishment? Punishment is that these people are forced to drink molten iron in liquid form. Indicating there will be problem related to food tract, digestion, problem related to eating, loss of taste, etc. The next nakshatra is Charakardamam, which is uh, ruled by Uttarashara nakshatra. And one goes to this nakshatra, one goes to this hell because of insulting noble people. So Uttarashara have a trait of insulting good men, insulting noble people, insulting good people. It is not like normal insulting. It is insulting to an extent to make someone feel bad. And that is a punishment. Why should you insult a noble people or noble person? Such people are kept upside down and tortured, which indicate the problem related to Uttarashara Nakshatra is that the lifestyle of the native is completely reversed. Right? So not able to sleep in night, have to sleep in daytime, Right or are forced to do a job and generally such jobs are not high paid. Right, generally such jobs where to take the job you have to compromise with your sleep and other things. Such jobs are not very well paying. Generally, right now the punishment is very uh, you know like punishment is not that great because the sin is also not that great. Right, it is just insulting. But other problems, you know, this doesn't look bad. But actually, if someone starts. Uh, waking in the night time and start sleeping in the daytime, slowly, slowly, all the bodily functions will start vanishing. Right? There will be a lack of iron, oxygen, etc. in the body. Right? So such things are indicated. Right? So this is not a major problem, but is a birth for many major problems. Right? If you start doing that, you will start getting obese, you will start having problems. Right? Uh, your health quotient will decrease, etc. Et the next is uh, Rakshobakam indicated by Abhijit Nakshatra. So the span of Abhijit Nakshatra, I will teach you right later on. So right now only read it. Those who eat non-vegetarian food, those who sacrifice human beings, those who eat human flesh and those who eat flesh of other creatures go into this hell, Prakshobukam. So basically, Abhijit Nakshatra indicate meat eating and cannibalism. All right? And if there are good planets in Abhijit Nakshatra, one should not do that. I will tell you something. My 10th Lord is in Abhijit Nakshatra. And the first thing I was advised was never eat non vegetarian food. That I never did. For a brief period of time, I was doing that. Then left, and now it has been years. And more than, I think, more than 10, 12 years it has been. Right, so this is one of the very potent remedy for Abhijit Nakshatra and this was like recommended to me by like my father itself. Right, so because Abhijit indicates doing human sacrifice cannibalism now, certainly no one is doing cannibalism between us. Except a few people in Papua New Guinea somewhere around 18th century did that. Now it is not prevalent at least in India. Right, but eating non-vegetarian food was strictly prohibited because of my tenth lord being in Abhijit. Right, the span of Abhijit is well known. I will also teach you. Right, what happens? What is the punishment? All the human beings that they have killed arrive in the hell in advance, and all these people that they have killed attack, uh, join together and attack this person. Right, so basically, uh, it is indicated that the disease or the problem is getting tortured by men, not being supported by people, uh, you know, like no one is, is no one is there to stand by you, right? And such, you know, public insult, etc. This is the karma-based punishment. 
right? This is the disease. Also, uh, see, when you see many people attack, so generally what I am visualizing a scene in my head is there is one person who is lying down and four or five people standing beating him type of scenario. So it is a whole, whole lot of weight coming over you that you are not able to resist. So these issues where a particular body part gains a whole lot of weight and you are not able to carry it, this happens in tumor, right? Is indicated, right? So you can say Abhijit indicates problem related to tumor. And in Germany, I to teach Capricorn gives every type of problem from cancer to tumor to XYZ and Abhijit falls in Capricorn. The next uh, hell is Sulprotam, indicated by Shravan Nakshatra. Those who take life of others, who have done no harm to them, right? those who kill uh, those animals or uh, beat those people who are not guilty, who haven't caused any harm to them. Those who deceive people, those who do treachery with weapon, those who like you know try to dhamgaane ko kya kehte hain? Those who try to instill fear by use of weapons and their power etc. And those who kill, punish, disturb those people who haven't done any bad to the native is indicated by Shravana Nakshatra. Right? If it is good, you don't do such things, and if there are bad plans into it, you do this. See, I have Mercury in Shravan. Okay. These people as a punishment are fixed on top of a trident that is Trishu. Uh, they spend their whole term in that position only suffering hunger and suffering from the tortures given by the servants of Yama. So basically Shravan creates indigestion, hunger, loss of weight related issues. The next hell is Dandasukam, connected to the Nakshatra Dhanishtha. People who prosecute fellow creatures like venomous serpents, etc., those people who kill insects unnecessarily. See, if a mosquito bites you, you are certainly supposed to kill the mosquito. That is very common. But if a snake is going on the road and you are like, just kill this animal. And if you have this type of instinct, it is a problem that is indicated by Dhanishtha Nakshatra uselessly. Punishing an animal who have done no harm to you. That animal can be another human being also, right? If it is more afflicted. Up, as a punishment for this, person is left into a hell where there are many wild boars and many serpents, and they eat this person. Basically, indicating that. First of all, when a serpent eats you, see serpent is not like a lion who will jump over you and eat you, right? So it slowly tangles over your body and then tries to eat you, right? So this person lived in a confined condition with a limited level of resources, problem number one. Another thing is attack by resources. I have told you bodily pain, etc. Bodily pain, amputation. So that is there, you know, some people unnecessarily have head pain, back pain, chest pain, etc., etc., here and there. Right, so that, that is what is indicated. Next, next comes the Sadhvisha Nakshatra, which is connected to the hell known as Vatarodham. Those who prosecute creatures living on mountain peaks, dense forests, hollows, and trunk of trees. Right, so basically, people who disturb animals living on the top of mountain, living in forest, and living in the trunk of trees, basically uh, disturbing monkeys, ants, etc these animals, right, is indicated by Sadhvisha Nakshatra. And as a punishment, these sinners are thrown into uh, these places at the top of a hill or in the uh, forest or under the trunk of a tree and further tortured with fire, smoke, poison and other weapons, right, indicating that Sadhvisha indicates problem related to poisoning, problem related to fire, Fire related problems also indicate bile related problem, right? Bile, pimple, uh, congestion, hemorrhage, etc. And problem related to smoke, so breathing related issues are also indicated by Sadhvisha. Next hell is uh, Pariyavartanakam, 
which is related to purva bhadra prada nakshatra one who denies food to a servant who uh, servant sorry the one who denies food to a needy person one who denies food to someone who asks them food goes to this hell right so if you are capable of giving food and someone comes and asks you for food you should give them share with them if you don't do that don't share your food and here food will also mean resources and blessings right so if you are a rich person and someone comes to you ask for help you should certainly help them otherwise you incur a sin right the world have given you money now you should give money back even if you don't to philanthropy at least don't uh disowed those people who ask help openly right because asking help needs a lot of guts and if you don't do that you go into this pariya vatanakam hell pariya vartanakam hell where the eyes of the person are put out by piercing the beaks of cruel birds like crow eagle etc right so purva bhadra prada nakshatra indicates eye related troubles vision sight related troubles and whenever angmand kanasulochana we have understood it right whenever we say sight of eye is it also affect the decision taking capabilities of the person for sight related capabilities of the person so generally purva bhadra prad also uh, creates problem like i invested in this business thinking that it will be profitable but sir it was not as i expected and now i am suffering loss so this is also a lack of foresight that is indicated by eye related issues right should be understood accordingly see my main purpose is to create an understanding into your minds then you will become astrologer and if i make you write the shlokas and just practice it you will become a parrot i don't i have no intention to turn you from a human to an animal and that's because you are human develop intelligence instinct and understanding don't be a parrot the last one because we started from revati the last one is uttra bhadra prad which indicates the hell sachi mukham proud and miserly people who refuse to spend money who do not repay the money they have borrowed go into this hell so uttra bhadra, bhadra prad indicate paise ka gaban not repaying the money that you have taken loan for right and not spending money on things which is necessary even if you have money suppose someone in your family is ill you can spend money but you refuse to do that because you want to save that money and the person dies you were the one who can help her him whatever these problems are indicated by uttra bhadra prad and when uttra bhadra prad have good planets you are very generous you help everyone right and if there are bad planets into it you want to remedy generous right and as a punishment their bodies are continuously pricked and pierced with needles so as a disease it gives you bodily pain pricking pain and when we say prick and pierce it also indicates boils pimples black heads etc etc coming of blood out of the uh, skin etc etc understood it.